Let's face it, guys. Not every ape will be able to hold. Some will need the money to pay bills. Others just can't handle the stress. This is why it's equally important now than ever to, to recruit new apes. It should be much easier as a DD is evolving and our long thesis is stronger than ever. I, for one, have brought around 25 newer apes to the cause over the past year alone. Let's not get complacent and sit back. We need to be diligent and focus on growing our cause. Remember, that's a very, very good point. It's hard for me to realize sometimes that there still are a ton of people out there that don't know about this going on because obviously I'm so deep in it. And a lot of you guys watching this video are also very deep in the community. But there are so many newer, younger investors that need to get involved and that should learn about what's going on here and the opportunity, the upside potential at B. That being said, guys, comment down below if you're what we would call a newer ape and comment down below if there's any questions you have about this play. To those that have between one share of AMC and 100,000 shares, all of your shares matter. I don't care one bit if you have a few shares or a ton. I want you to hold for the eventual explosion that will be the price during the squeeze. Hold fast, hold long, it'll be worth it. Guys, there's all kinds of walks of life in this trade. There's some people that have 10,000 shares, 100,000 shares, and there's some smaller apes that just have a few shares that they you know, load on whenever they have the money to load them on. And there's everything in between, of course. But it's all important, us as retail investors, us as apes, have been in this trade for a while and it's going to be vital if we all keep holding on. Master lists of hedge funds closing, freezes on withdrawals, runs margin calls, or requests for bailout, etc. I ran a mortgage company in 2008 and someone had a master list that they updated in real time that gave us a list of who was on the chopping block. Links to all the corresponding news articles, SEC publications, whatever. We watched our lenders slowly start to kick the bucket and then as time progressed, it sped up. I realized hedge funds close all the time, but there is a relevancy right here now to keep in track. People can add to the list as it grows showing connections between funds. Someone out there can do it a lot quicker than I can. But an ongoing list showing who, what, when would add to a nice reference without having to search through five or ten subs. Now, I love that idea, guys, and I would love to get involved with this maybe if I can, but that would be an awesome, awesome piece of data, piece of DD, especially later on if it could be used for something bigger. That would be an awesome project, though, to have one website to go to and basically talk about all the hedge funds that are closing on the chopping block and what's going on with them, the news articles corresponding to that, etc. I love that idea.